What's going on, everybody? It's Christopher Toro, and welcome to Glorified Games, the place that we talk about games and sometimes Resident Evil. So I've been seeing a lot of third-party developers porting games to the Switch, such as Skyrim, L.A. Noire, Doom, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and Resident Evil Revelations Collection. After playing Resident Evil Revelations for the Switch, it made me think about another game that I would love to see on the Switch. A game that we need, in fact. This game was said to be the greatest game to ever come out, and one of the best games on the GameCube. That game being Resident Evil 4. It's very hard to forget that game, especially after beating it 10 times, but as soon as you start it, you begin to realize how different it is from other games, and how it is the definitive survival horror experience. Not even Shinji Mikami himself can replicate what he did in Resident Evil 4. From the realistic location to the variation in enemies, Resident Evil 4 kept you down to earth with tensions high. There were a lot of aspects to it that were kind of out of this world, like giants and giant walking insects, but overall that was the most realistic I've ever seen graphics look. And doing some research, it appears that Resident Evil 4 was ahead of its time. Some people don't even know how it was able to be played on the GameCube. The reason I'm guessing was that letterbox that you were forced to play with. But here are my five reasons why Resident Evil 4 absolutely needs to be on the Nintendo Switch. The first one being, Revelations 1 and 2 are already on the Switch. Revelations 1 was for the 3DS, while Part 2 never found a place on Nintendo until now. Seeing how Capcom is paying attention to the Switch, no doubt they would try to port their most successful game that started on the GameCube. The second reason would be the Switch's motion controls. There was recently an update optimizing the controls a little more, and some people say, oh, it might be for the 1-2 Switch game, but that game has been out for almost a year, while Revelations 1 and 2 just came out, and I think the motion controls for Revelations 1 and 2 is actually useful, seeing how in the presentation of the Switch, its controls were compared to the Wii's controls. In the first year of the Wii's life, Resident Evil 4 was ported to it with optimized motion controls to deepen the experience. If ported with the option of having these controls, that would encapsulate the relationship between the Switch and the Wii like how Nintendo intended it to, because until Revelations 1 and two, I hadn't really used the motion controls for any other game. Seeing how Revelations 1 and 2 makes that control scheme more useful than it ever has been, it would only make sense if Resident Evil 4 included that. The third reason for porting this would be the fact that it's already been ported on almost every system since the Wii. Every platform has wanted a piece of Resident Evil 4, and no matter how many years it passes, its sales are always impressive. A port to Resident Evil 4's originator, a Nintendo system, would make the most sense, and the fact that it would be portable would most likely make the most sales. The fourth reason Resident Evil 4 needs to be on the Switch is that it was one of Nintendo's greatest games. And for some of the greatest games people have ever played, somehow Resident Evil 4 always makes its way to that kind of list. The fifth reason has to be that Resident Evil 4 originated on a Nintendo console. The port to the PS2 had pre-rendered cutscenes or pre-recorded cutscenes, so PlayStation didn't really get that original port. But GameCube had that original version. Version. And I don't know if you've ever played the GameCube on the PC, but if you upscale it to HD, that game looks amazing. Seeing the definitive HD version of that game would be the first time we'll see the original textures and how they were intended to be. The Wii didn't have HD graphics, the Wii U did, but we didn't see a Resident Evil 4 port to the Wii U. So the next best thing needs to be the Nintendo Switch, and I'm sure they're working on it. Now the number 6 reason, and I'm sure you weren't expecting this, Resident Evil 4 on the Switch might have an effect on Nintendo. Seeing how they've come so far, and how their IPs are starting to be as good as they were, Resident Evil 4 made a milestone for Nintendo, while Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild also did. Maybe they can cut a deal with Shinji Mikami, and possibly have Resident Evil 5, or whatever they want to call it, that could possibly be better than Part 4. Maybe a port to the Switch is all they need to enable them to make another Resident Evil exclusive on a Nintendo console. Only good can come from a Resident Evil 4 port. And with Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 so perfectly ported to the Switch, I'm sure we'll see a RE4 port come next year. Let me know what you guys think about this, and what kind of games would you want to see ported to the Nintendo Switch? Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Later.